there are a handful of hot spots in Denver for public art, and one of them is right here, this theater district convention center area at Champa and 14. There's a lot of art here, and I want to show you three of my favorites. So let's get oriented real quick. On the north side of Champa, you have the Denver Performing Arts Complex, which includes Betcher Concert Hall, Buell Theater, and Ellie Calkins Opera House. And to the south, you have the Colorado Convention Center, which includes Belco Theater. There's nearly always a lot going on right here. It even has its own light rail station. This is the Theater District Convention Center station. Right next to this light rail station and standing outside the convention center is where you'll find my favorite public art piece in Denver, colloquially known as the Big Blue Bear. The bear is 42 feet tall and it's been here since 2005, almost 20 years. Its real name is I See What You Mean, which is a name that made me repeat it back to itself because I do think I see what the name means. The thoughts of a curious creature peeking in on these huge windows. I feel a childlike wonder and whimsy looking at this bear and it seems to me like the bear is having those exact same feelings, peering in at the little humans in this giant hive they've built for themselves. It makes me look through the windows in the same way. From the interviews he's done, it sounds like that's exactly what the artist, Lauren Sargent, was going for. He wanted a shape that was distinctly Colorado, but felt that the mountains were overused, and he's probably right on that, and was inspired by a photo he'd seen in a newspaper of a bear looking into someone's house. The bright blue color was an accident. In the planning stages, the bear was going to be the colors of Colorado, with sandstone colors and things like that. So I guess the same colors as some of our geology? But a printout of the design came back blue by mistake, and I thought that was much more exciting, Arjun says. So like a rendering software glitch, maybe? I could see that kind of thing happening. I agree that the bright blue color is eye-catching, it's exciting. It may be a simple favorite to have, but it fills me with joy and I think the artist would have been delighted to hear that. If you go the other direction from the light rail station, you'll run into these two stout people instead, manning the entrance to this part of the theater complex with a glass ceiling. This is Man and Woman by Fernando Batero. The style is called Boterismo, which I love. <laughs> the stiff postures and awkward proportions end up looking so silly and playful, they make me smile. And make me think of the word chungus. Look at these things and tell me they aren't chungus. <laughs> A lot of Batero's art is in Medellin, Colombia, where he's from. I'm glad Denver got this handsome couple. These two have been here for almost 30 years, since 1998. I remember marveling at them myself when I came here for the first time in middle school to see a showing of cats at the Buell. But that's what you're seeing once you're already at the light rail station or walking up to your theater. Before you get here, the big statue that's going to greet you is more likely to be this one, simply called Dancers. It's west across Champa from the Big Blue Bear in an outdoor venue on Spear called Sculpture Park that's a part of the Performing Arts Complex. I love these two huge guys. They're fun. They look like they're dancing clumsily and happily, probably along to the song that plays from the bass they're on, which is called Let's Dance and was created by the sculptor, Jonathan Borowski. At least it is supposed to play out of these speakers, but it hasn't the times I've been around. But the song is on his website, so that's what you've been listening to this whole time. Borowski makes a lot of guys like this in his sculptures. I like them a lot. Denver's dancers are 60 feet tall and they've been around since 2003, so they can have a drink this year. We'll definitely be coming back to this area soon to talk about more of the art that's around here, but for now, thank you for coming along to see a few of my favorites. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you live in Denver, what public art do you like? And if you live somewhere else, what public art in your area do you like or dislike? Leave a comment. And make sure to come back to see the next video about Spore in Denver.